Welcome to this special report on COVID-19, brought to you by CNA TV. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hi, I'm Lisa Sweet, Chief Clinical Officer with the National Association of Healthcare Assistants, and I'm here with a special briefing, a special NACA briefing on COVID-19. Uh, we will strive to keep you updated with the most current information from the CDC, the Centers for Diseases Control and Prevention, and CMS, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. What you can do is stay up to date with your local and state healthcare authorities for special regional information that you need to know. We've had some healthcare providers, some CNAs reporting that they have a huge lack of personal protective equipment or PPE, specifically masks. Um, the CDC, in light of this shortage, has issued some new recommendations. Those recommendations include extended use of face masks and reuse of face masks. These are things that we've never done in the past, but we have never had to fight like this in the past to keep those we serve healthy. Extended use and reuse of face masks means that a CNA would reuse the same mask for multiple patients, for multiple care encounters, unless it is visibly soiled or they can no longer breathe through it. You need to remember that when you have a mask that you're taking off to reuse later, you should not be touching the outside of the mask. This is considered contaminated. So the mask needs to be folded with the contaminated side inward, and it needs to be stored in a breathable bag, such as a brown paper bag, and you can label it with your name to make certain that you get the one for reuse later. Um, as a last resort, some healthcare providers have had to go to making homemade masks. Now, it must be noted that the effectiveness of homemade masks is not known. However, something is better than nothing and possibly could prevent some droplet infection. Uh, these homemade masks have included special designs and patterns that you can find on the internet, uh, bandanas and scarves. Uh, are two things that the CDC recommends using as well. This has been a special briefing on COVID-19. Stay strong.